website. I'd like to ask you just a few quick questions. Um, what is your occupation and what do you do all day? Um, I'm a student and I'm usually in school or at work on the weekends. Nice. All right. Well, um, so how many hours a week, roughly, would you say you spend using the internet, web browsing, and email? Um, maybe about... 40 or 50 hours a week. Okay. Um, and what's the split between email and browsing, would you say? Um, probably like 80% browsing, 20% email. Okay. And what kind of sites do you look at when you look at the web? Um, either like online shopping or uh, videos, um, occasionally blogs. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to ask you to look at this page and tell me what you make of it, what strikes you about it, whose site do you think it is, um, what can you do here, and what is it for? Um, it looks to be a website about art for San Marcos. Um, maybe featuring a gallery. Um, it looks like you can see events coming up and announcements maybe perhaps about an artist or an exhibit. All right, and so you've seen a flyer, or I'm going to ask you to just do a few specific tasks on the site. So you've seen a flyer on campus for an art-related event, you Google the event, and my site comes up. You come here to find information on that event. Where might you find it? Um, probably down here if it's titled with what I was interested in. Maybe if there is information in the links about it, I might go there. Okay. So you find the event and you want to post it to Facebook or get your friends interested. How might you do that? Yeah, yeah, Oh wait, no, I don't want to ask that because I forgot to put the icons uh, yeah. up here. But typically there would be icons okay. there. Um, all right. So say you've read the information about the event that you were looking for and you wanted to find more content like that. Where would you go? Um. Probably down here where it says more content. Um, maybe if there's a link also up in the top mm -hmm. that had articles or something. All right.